is through the word of God. If you, if you miss that, you're still in your same old self. Anybody here tonight? And so somewhere along the way, you got to build yourself a foundation. Not only build yourself a foundation, your foundation must become constructed by God. Anybody here tonight? Tell somebody, I've tried everything else. Yes. Don't tell the story. I've tried everything else. I've got to try the word of God. I've got to try the word of God. Not only to try it, you got to get it this time. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because this is your foundation. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to keep you cycled in the word of God. Because let me tell you, none of us can make it with our own strength. Right. Listen, I don't care how educated you are. I don't care. Can how many PhDs you got? None of them are master to the word of God. None of them are master to this. All of that is is to keep you some common sense. But there is a such thing as educated what? Y'all said it out. Hallelujah. There's a such thing as that without the word of God. Some people know too much. And they are not able to insert the word of God in their life. Amen. So I come here tonight as we share this word tonight and deal with this word that, that there is some great meat here for us tonight. Now, I, I Listen, uh, I know God is good. As sick as I've been the last three weeks, I know God is an awesome God. 
I'm 60 years old. I ain't never felt the pain I felt. Uh, listen, I, I do. I, 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 matter of fact, I started praying harder for others. Anybody here? Yes. For what I went through with. Amen. I began to pray for others Amen. that's going through a greater situation Amen. than I've gone through. Amen. Amen. I'm saying this tonight that I know that there is a God. I know it without a doubt that he's there. I don't need no more tests. I know he's there. And I honor his presence. Amen. Glory unto the Lord that, that I serve. I know, I know that I'm about to die with shout that there is the presence of God in this old mean world. Amen. Amen. Let's look at verses 17, maybe down through the 24th of that text and see what the Lord has for the house tonight. Oh, and this, you know, this sleep, there's been so much meat in this house. Y'all, y'all leaving the meat on your plate. <laughs> Skipping on out of here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's start reading those verses. We got a mic right there on the top. Please begin to read for me. This I say. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord. That ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of, vanity of their minds, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their hearts, who being past feelings have given themselves over unto the last lacriness to work all the uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so, be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupted according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. And that 31st verse says, let all bitterness, wrath, and anger, and clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Before I give you a text, how do you know these things are put away until you're tested? It's all in your W-L-A-K. It's all in your walk. It's all in your presentation. I tell people all the time, it's, it's not how much money you spend on your product, it's the presentation you're trying to make. I can't hear nobody. It's not about where you come from. It's about your presentation in life and with life. I want to talk about this message tonight. I declare it. You know, it was rough. I wanted to go back to the well, but she left a bucket. <laughs> she had nothing in it. I came back. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> left a bucket there. I want to talk about tonight a new walk for a new life. Take your seats. How in the world can you say you have a new walk? And you have no love in you. Oh, my How do you know what love is if you've never been exposed to it? Oh, 
Now, how, how do you know what love is and you hate everybody? My God, my God. You hate yourself for living. Oh my God. For being alive. It's going to be a real deal tonight for somebody. How, 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 how do you know if you got a new walk and you hadn't given your old walk up? You're still hobbling. Now, how do you know you got to walk and you still look the same? Uh, how, how can you tell the difference? But the Lord has, if, if the Lord has laid his hands on you, the Lord won't lay his hands on you until you allow him to. It's not blaspheming. Jesus. There's an open door. That's it. How do you know that you have a new walk and you're still dealing with the same malice? Jesus. How do you know? You have a new walker. You still talking about how low down somebody was. How do you? How does that go together? How does that sound? And you still worried about what mom and daddy did to me twenty years ago? How, how do you have? My God, my God. Can I help somebody tonight? How, how do you have a new walk? How can you expose yourself? And said, so the Lord has delivered you and he set you free and you're still angry. Jesus. How do you set yourself free when you, everything about you is contaminated? How do you get free, preacher? How do you, Bishop, how do I shake this off of me? All I can see and think about is what somebody said to me or somebody did to me. Most of it had to do with trusting the Lord. The Lord gave you a very tough assignment and you're not able to handle your assignment because of your own issues. The cause of your own walk, you cannot handle the assignment that God has assigned to you. Anybody here? A new walk for a new life. A new walk for a greater blessing. A new walk in this life. In this first phase, put it on a new man put on a new walk. There is a word that beckons me tonight to focus our attention even going backwards. What, what did I get off at? Where did I go wrong at? Where, why, 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 do, why am I always exposing my weak side to people? Why can't I uh, exposed my blessed side to people and began to live as I'm blessed, not as nobody cares and nobody's concerned about me. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's like the two cooks in the kitchen and they both have the same chicken to cook. But one of the chickens still remains wrapped up. It doesn't have anything to do with yesterday. It has something to do with what's the aura you're giving out. Anybody here tonight? It has much to do with what you have prepared. It has much to do with what you have structurally put on the counter and say, here it is. And everybody walks by and says, I don't believe I want it in that. It may even look the worst, but it could have the best taste. If you have the strength to taste it, I can't hear nobody. All you heard was where it came from. And if that was enough to deter you, amen, to deter you from the enemy. But I come here tonight to tell you that sometimes you're going to have to go with trials and error because you have a new walk now. I can't walk like I used to walk. I can't talk like I used to talk. I can't be in my language like I used to. Here in this text, it is a word, there's a word, therefore. Anytime you see 
Therefore, in the Bible, we should stop and see what therefore is for, or there is for. This word uh, calls our mind tonight uh, back to what Paul has been trying to teach about calling and coming to Jesus Christ. Uh, before we have been given all of the benefits in, in this text, I'm going to tell you this to me in Ephesians, one of the greatest texts ever written, is going to benefit you more in life because you can't do anything without a foundation. Great clock on the wall. You can't do anything without a foundation. Without a foundation, you're going to fail, huh? And you, you, you can't even live without a foundation because a foundation, first of all, gives you structure. Right? Amen. Uh, we got a what structure. Without structure, uh, you can't get a foundation. Uh, because, see, first of all, structure gonna, you're going to get you away from yourself and see what God will have you to do. Uh, uh, that's why tonight well, our unity in the body of Christ must be our structure. We, uh, we must, our uniqueness uh, and our gift by the Holy Spirit to serve the Lord. Uh, how in the world can we serve the Lord with some of the stuff we carry in our mind and in our heart? How, uh, how can you serve the God that we live and he, he have you as a help me and you can't help meet nobody. You can't even help meet your own needs other than your brothers and sisters in the church. I can't help nobody. Because we have been given these advantages and, and we are partake of the gifts from God, we are to walk in a manner that is different from the world around us. Let me tell you something. You cannot benefit in this world trying to please the world, but you can benefit if you learn how to please God. Uh -huh. That that should be our first partaker in this text tonight. You got to say, where am I in God? Why am I where I am? Who I am? You can't run around the church bad and angry and upset because you can't have your way. You got to understand. I'm here for the grace of God. I'm here to be one to God. I'm here that God can use me to be His enemy in this world. These verses there that are before us tonight we are called to a new walk uh, for a new life. Paul issues some very specific challenges for all of those that are saved. Somebody says saved. Uh, uh, these challenges teaches us how we are to walk and how we are able to be different from those who are not have not been saved. And as we look at this text tonight, you can't predicate your life based on how anyone treats you in this world. Either you got it or you don't have it. If I, if words that I've taken, words that I make, go spar on your list for Jesus Christ. Baby, you ain't got nothing. Uh, God is your protector. God is your provider. Somebody said, thank you, hallelujah. <laughs> Secondly, we must be able to accept being different and be all right. That's a word that goes with that. Be different and be difficult. You can be different, but not be difficult. Different means you're staged and ready to serve the Lord. Difficult means you can't even get along with yourself. Anybody here tonight? Amen. Those things must be far fetched from one another. In other words, you got to find your place in the ministry of God and stay in your lane, stay in your place, work in your lane. When you're dealing with 500 different personalities, you're not going to find anything going to be sweet. Because the enemy won't allow it. You have to be different and know that you're different. When you're saved, you're saved. You must create the salvation atmosphere. Paul challenges us here to make the difference 
between the children of God and the children of the devil. We are to work. We are to mark those distinctions between the, the saved and the lost. And we are to be different and not worry about it. See, it's just because we're different, some of us get upset because we don't understand who we are. And we all are different, Sister Queen. We're made to be different. You listen, you, I, I'm not here to please your walk. You just walk. You're not here to please my walk. You just walk. You may practice it, you may try to mimic it, but it ain't gonna work. It ain't the walk God gave you. God did not give us the same walk. My walk may look like something you've never seen before. I hope you haven't seen it. Because it ain't for you. Ain't anybody here. Doesn't matter how much I want to be like this. Ain't gonna happen. I don't want to be like nobody from talk of who God has made me to be. Hallelujah. See, like you trying to be like Brother Troy. Troy already got all that. Ain't nothing left there. there. <laughs> you walking in the steps with nothing behind. Anybody here? All right. Just because he looked like he got it on, you don't know what happened to Dr. Spock. <laughs> but I can't hear nobody. So don't waste your time. Trying to be like nobody else. Yeah. Lord, do me, God. God, fix me, God. God, bless me where you want me to be. Let me walk up right, God. Bless my walk, Lord. Bless me where I am. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Paul said, the Lord, the Lord's walk in the vanity of their mind. Now, the, the word vanity simply means uh, emptiness that which is a waste on nothing uh, the laws live empty lies because their minds are corrupt by inborn sin that dwells within them and so, sometimes you wonder what in the world makes folks say some things they say where did that come from I in the mind that's where it came from what makes folk do some things they do? Most of we used to say when we were young growing up, my mommy said he has tried to get attention, but you grew out of those things. Ain't, ain't no more time for attention. You're wasting your talents on attention. When we was kids, we act as a kid. But when you became a man or woman, you grew up out of all of those things and you became you became a man, a woman of God that God can use and bless and exemplify. See, a, a lost mind in which ways to serve the flesh and a selfish desire of the mind. But a lost mind in which false gods, false religion, and foolish philosophies. That's why you hear people talking crazy and stupid. Why, why would you say that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, what sense does that make? Understand that, that you are not there. Get away from it. Amen? God can fix it. Because he is a what? Mind regulator. He's a what? Heart fixer. Paul said, you got to get your mind stayed on him if that be your desire. There's a way, Proverbs 20, 16 and 25th verse says, there's a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof are ways of death. Another passage over in Romans, the first chapter, and around that 28th verse tells us that the lost Reprobate. You reprobate mind, which means simply mean God has nothing to do with it. Uh, you mean to tell me that, that I'm breathing, I'm living, and God wife? Yes. I turn you over to a reprobate. Uh, this, this, this is a bad mind. This is a depraved mind. This is a depraved mind. This word was used uh, 
to, to really disturb and describe the mental ways that, that wasn't of God, the rejected ways that wasn't of God. This word came to simply mean useless and worthless. Amen. Everybody got a mind that, that they don't want to operate with their mind, that they're useless. They're worthless. This is the word of God. Y'all read Romans the first chapter, 28 verse. Let's see what Paul tells you. There's a problem. The Bible says Paul writes to let us know in that text that, that there is a problem with their heart. Paul says their understanding is dark. And you read that out top? As they are alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Now, the word blindness is a stubbornness. Have you ever tried to talk to a child or a spouse and all that stubbornness come out and you don't know where it came from and you don't have unless you try to talk to a friend, you see the same thing? You don't know why. When did all this start? When did all this the darkness of their heart? The Bible says you're going to be dealing with those kinds of situations when they, when they don't have a new walk for a new life. So many people are trying to carry their old life with the new life and it will not work. It has never worked. Paul said understanding is the darkness of those weak hearts and weak minds because of the darkness of their heart they are separated from the life that could be theirs in Jesus Christ and they remain trapped in the darkness and in their condition become even worse. Whether we like it or not, the laws are dead in trespassing and trespassing and even in sin. The human race did not merely get sick. The Bible said when Adam said it died. God forgave. It's up to you and I to accept what God has left for us. Amen. Uh, you know, I, I just believe until you get it right, it won't be right. And most folks cannot get it right. Can I help somebody tonight? Because they don't want to trust God. God enough to come from their sinful ways and do what the Lord would have them to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, a new walk for a new life. If you want to get a new life and you'll get a new walk, you got to change your old ways in a hurry and be of God. Somebody said thank you. Thirdly, we got to understand how to be discerning. See, we, we take discerning the wrong way. Just because we see something, we think it's for us to act up. Anybody here? Because we feel something. We think God wants us to break up where we are. God give you a discerning Spirit, because you have his spirit in you, not to challenge him, sometimes go into prayer, or sometimes to separate the natural and go into the spirit. Don't get mad because God showed you something. Don't get frustrated because God allows you to, to seek his gift. Don't get bitter. Because God show you what He's working with. Yes, well, I ain't talking to her. Well, she just she got that bad spirit on her. Jesus. You may have that bad spirit. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. God show you things that elevate you. Jesus. Not to get mad. Not to get dreary. Not to get dry. Not to go out and talk about how you got a bad spirit. <laughs> God show you that you would have something to work with. Does right. it make sense to anybody? Amen. As a certain thing is learned 
Christ. Christ is our example. The lost are motivated by their lust. And we are to be motivated by the Lord. Paul hold Jesus Christ up against the backdrop of sinfulness and wickedness of the lost world. Could not be greater. Period. If you really want to see what you're working with, take yourself out of the equation. Take the next 60 days and take your selfish motives out. Take what you used to couldn't take. Trust God with it. Trust God where you are. Trust God where you fit in it. It will change your whole circumstance. It will change See, a lot of us are not blessed because we're trying to challenge what God has us and what God is doing in our life. We're trying to challenge the outpour of what God has taken us. Talk about what I can't take, what I ain't going to take. Honey, you telling God what you ain't going to take. You're telling God what you have not, you can't handle. And God has already equipped us to handle anything. God has already equipped you to take and go through any devil in hell and be blessed at the same time. We got this thing wrong. Know what to add to and know what to not to add to. Oh, it may hurt your feelings. Who cares about your feelings? You ain't big enough to have no feelings. If you really want to stay, you're going to have to be able to go through. Ain't no easy salvation. Ain't no easy life. Nobody going to talk to me like that. Who cares? Hallelujah. Paul is trying to tell us tonight that if you're going to get this, you're going to sacrifice. If you're going to get this new walk, not only does the new walk come, Brother Bowtie, but a new life come. Oh, yeah. New life come, guys. In other words, you got to stop going back. Sometimes you got to turn your, turn your phone off. Drop all the numbers. I don't care how you're doing. You ain't doing what I'm doing. We ain't doing it no way. I can't hear nobody. Just because you feel a little better, stop digging up devils. Let them devils keep flowing. They, if they ain't ready to get what you got, let them keep going. I can't hear nobody. Paul says a new life, they will bring a new concept. Everything new has nothing to do with old. They will get some new wine, they get some new bottles. Get some new glasses. Don't break out the same old glasses. Get you some new ones. Hallelujah for the night. You're going to be different. You're going to be discerning. You're going to also be deceived. Oh my God. That's the one we can't take. That's what we can't handle. Soon as we feel like we've been deceived, shut it down. Already shut down. <laughs> what in the world am I going to deposit money in the bank and be scared to go there and get it? Oh, I look like a fool. I know what I put in that bank, and I want my money. If I need it, I ain't leaving my money behind. Amen. What I'm saying is, if God has put you in a position and you know that this is my blessing, and a devil in hell will rule me from my blessing because I've been through too much hell to put up with your hell. Enough to you to mess my walk. I 
I've been knock kneed I've been bow legged I've been all kind of legs. I'm straight now. Oh God, help Don't let listen, listen. If God has brought you out, Jesus, stop going back in. Well, how you doing? Hey. Hey. Oh, what you doing? I don't care what you doing. I know I ain't doing it. All I'm saying tonight to us, if God has given you a new walk, walk it. God has given you a new talk, talk it. Stop mixing junk up with it. Stop telling people out. I ain't that say when you need to get saved. <laughs> Got nerve tell folk when you get upset. You get saved. So you don't have to talk that way. Hallelujah. Then. Oh, this is the real deal. Get the body home. Open your door. Since we have been changed by the power of God and since we have been taught the truth about God in Christ and we ought to make all kinds of changes on our own listen don't wait on your girlfriend your boyfriend to make the change you make the change damn it if you don't follow suit leave them where you found can I help somebody See, when you've been through enough, enough is enough. You don't need to be reminded of old crazy stuff. If you're the real deal. Now, if you're not the real deal, Brother Thomas, uh, glass gonna stay half empty. You're never gonna see it half full. Almost the same level. Somebody say glory to God. When I say half empty, that means going down. When I say half full, it means going, going up. up. <laughs> it's all about what you think. It's all about the concept of how you label from the inside. Am I, am I making any sense here tonight? <laughs> these actions that Paul mentioned in these verses put off and be renewed tonight and, and put on uh, are not commandments that we as believers they are actually statements that are really facts either you put off be renewed and put on that's just as simple as that we're reminded of what he did so that we could that we can walk every step to ensure that each of these activities a reality in our lives day by day. This is a day by day walk. That's why sometimes we come to church surprised because we come in them doors back there, we be on a cloud nine. And somebody behind a little needle. <laughs> you lost it. I've learned uh, so I just give you a whole little you popped it, it's yours. I don't have to deal with it. Don't, don't, don't worry about how she popped your balloon. She popped it to trouble us. It ain't gonna trouble me. Yeah, what was in it? It all belongs to you. And, and that's how you got to learn to walk straight up. And ain't no use of coming here trying to get no revenge. That's it. That's it. You can't, ain't enough for me to fix no devil. That's it. Well, I can fix it and pay no attention. Hallelujah. We do pay him no attention and, and, and keep it moving. Put off means to strip away the image of sometimes you take it, you just like taking off clothes. If, if, I, if your clothes are not fit, or not suit me well, you, you like me, I throw them in the trash can. You get rid of it because you're not going to embarrass me twice, amen? Because you hang it back up, it's coming back out again. I can't hear nobody. That's the way it is. If you deal with it, it's, it's coming back out. Unless the salvation comes in and clean the house 
And salvation is clean. Salvation will do it if you ask the Lord to. He will do it and he'll even make it perfect for you. Jesus. Nothing I've been through with life that I regret at all made me a man that I am. Good or bad. See, 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 we 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 told we told old habits, old problems through life. And it, it just messes our lives up because we never accept what God allows. Amen. Amen. I tell us all the time, many of us walk around mad with old marriages. <laughs> they are gone on something else. You still sit there looking bad. Because <laughs> it didn't go your way. <laughs> you should not put that much attention on oh, uh, faith or uh, trust in nobody's hand. Yeah. Nobody except the Lord. You should. Because you got to have another person to make you happy. You ain't got nothing in it. You ain't got nothing. Amen. You build a house, you sleep in. Don't let nobody else build your house. You build your own house. That's right. Amen. Because when they get ready to take it, they're going to take it. I can't hear nobody. Well, oh, I got this before I got married. Oh, you out. <laughs> Everybody here. You, know, you, you, you got to think about life in your new walk that I'm not going to be repeating anything else. This is going to be my walk to the pit of hell. Because the Lord has revealed, the Lord has strengthened me, the Lord has empowered me now to, to do what I need to do. Not only that, you ought to be able to renounce who you are even in the face of the enemy. I, 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 I look the same, but I'm not the same person I used to be because along the way I've been convicted. I've been convicted. The Lord has blessed me. The Lord has delivered me. See, if you talk of that long enough, the enemy will get the message. I can't hear them. Don't let no devil keep you down because if you know the Lord has brought you out and blessed you and took you out of the rain and dropped you off, rich you off, served you down, and has given you the liberty, don't let no devil give you, give you that little stuff. But you, you know how to make for this individual, amen? Nobody but the Lord. Tell somebody nobody but the Lord can do it. Lost sinner has a mind that is given over to vanity. The sinner's mind gives it itself over to things that are empty of value. Results in a judgment to hell. In other words, you got to get within yourself. Don't look for grandma and granddaddy to fix you. Look for God to fix you. And he'll fix you one time and forever. Don't walk around with no attitude because you can't be like nobody else. Or uh, you can't make nobody believe who you are. I don't care if you believe me or not. As long as I can take it to the back, I'm good. Amen. Ain't anybody here. Ain't anybody here. No, you find strength in your own denominator. Common denominator. And you will fix your life yourself. Amen. Somebody please say, thank you, Lord. Paul says you renew yourself. Go back to the praying ground. I didn't say go back to the sinful ground. Go back to the praying ground. Or what brought you to this Lord? Or what brought you to this? Or what brought you to that? And renew your strength in the Lord, and everything shall be all right. Anybody here tonight? Strip off that old you by yourself. Don't say I'm this way because of this, because of that, because of them. Don't put, don't listen. Don't put yourself out there like that. My God, my God. Amen. 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 No, they don't, they don't like me. They don't bring me nothing to eat. And they don't share with me. Don't share with yourself. That's it. They don't call me. Why you want them to call you if they don't love you? They don't talk to me. Why you want them to talk to you if they don't like you? 
find a new walk by yourself and walk it out. Yeah, so I'm saying walk out. What's that song? I forgot that song. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Go to the mall and walk it out. May I have a pin in your pocket, but you switch it like you got a million. They're going to sell next week. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. If you put on the appearance and truthfully mean your appearance, God will bless you. But as long as you walk around talking about that poor old me, the Lord don't know you. Because he's the one that gives prosperity. He's the one that gives you give health to the sick. He's the one that heals. He's the one that sets free. He's the one that makes everything all right. He's the one that changes your sin like you say. He's the one that tells the human mind is better. He's the one that makes it better leave you alone. Hallelujah. He's the one that will do it. You got a new walk, act like it. You got a new talk, talk like it. You got a new dance, dance like it. You know you're coming out, tell the devil, I'm coming out of this. Tell us I'm coming out of this. Not tomorrow, but right now, I'm coming out of this. Now, in fact, I'm already out of this. I ain't waiting till tomorrow. I'm out right now. If you're out right now, you don't have to wait. Shout right now, go back to the time to do it. Tell the devil the relationship is over. I got this what I needed from the Lord. Not only did I get this what I needed, I got another one I'm going to do the Lord. Because I got a new walk. I'm burning to fall away 
I am still standing where I am. Why is that a lot to do with you? But I feel it I'm going to praise his holy name. I'm going to praise him. He's I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. I love you. My name is the Lord. I'm going to praise him. 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 Same as we've always been. Oh, my God. My God. My God. 
But tonight is a second chance, God. A second opportunity to turn away and turn toward God. And let God arise. And your enemies be scattered. And this is your night. This is, this is your time. This, this is your program. It's let all bitterness, wrath, and anger, evil speaker, be put away from me. And that 32nd verse says, and be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God forgave Christ. Second, and has forgiven you. Learn to walk in love. Even with your children, it doesn't matter what they have done. Forgive them. Walk in love with them. Walk in kindness with them. See, whatever they're doing, you used to do it. You just didn't get caught. I can't hear no more. They're all up in the terms of you. But we got to understand that we got to walk in love for what I'm doing for. I have my brother's keeper. Keeper's brother and I. And God will fix it. He's not going to fix it the way it is. I'm taking a lot in this world. Jesus, I worship. 